Robin Preston here, member for Hawkesbury. We've been through a tough time recently and I learned about the situation with Bilpin Bloom's farm. They've got a farm here that at the crisis time when the bushfires were here, RFS crew were able to access their dam and use the water from there. But that then made it very difficult for the family to grow uh, and meet their deadlines with their products. So in the end, I had a call for help from Phil and Nicole Muscuso, who own the farm. They've been here 15 years. So I want to share this with you. So tell me what happened here. Well, um, this the fires come from, from down the back. Yep. And it's actually come from this side and up this side here. And it got really, really hot from this side here. And then it just started, all the embers started burning on, on the farm and the farm started catching a light and everything just melted. All this irrigation was melted. I've taken it out of here now, but this was all irrigation here wow. and just all melted. That all melted down. All these other blocks behind you, if, um, that all that irrigation melted down too, all got holes. So we've replaced all that now already. Amazing. So I've had all my guys in here just replacing constant. So you were here, with, how many were here with you? It was just me and my cousin. Me and my cousin were here That's just huge. protecting the place, so, yeah. So how did you protect it? What did you do? Well, I said to my cousin, let's protect the house and the sheds um, and the farm just let it go. Whatever happens, happens. We just couldn't get here. And there you wasn't had enough water. Or? We had sprinklers on the house and the sheds, yep. but we just d couldn't get to the farm. The farm was just lighting up. Mm. So these were all artichokes? These were right? all artichokes, but what lit up was the, once the irrigation lights up, you can't put it out because right. it's, it's a plastic, yes. it's oil based, yes. so it, it just, just keeps lighting off. up. It takes off. And then the mulch too on there, the mulch just took off. So it's like you fuel. can't control it. It's, fuel. it's hard to control something like that. It's it, you just need a lot of manpower to put it out. So how much area have you got here that you you work on? There's about 10 acres cultivation here. Okay. And I've probably lost about 70 percent. So this is the story that Phil told me, and the urgency is that he's got no water in the dam now to uh, get the seedlings up and running. Yeah. Um, so that was an urgent cry for help. That's and right. this is a good news story today because I'm really pleased to say that uh, Phil and I worked together and we were able to get over a million litres of water to replenish Phil's dam. We're going to have a look at that now and just see what it meant mm. uh, because that, the dam water was used to save properties in the area. That's right, yeah. You had the Absolutely. RFS coming down and yep. taking the water and dropping it out yeah. to save properties. And the good thing is they actually put the water, uh, put the fire out where yes. it was going to go the it, next it day. It actually did work. It did work, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, you don't so mind I was happy. The water. Yeah. I was very happy they had used the water to yeah. do that. I think they've taken out more than a million litres. This water was taken, the, the levels were were about here and all this water here was taken for to put out the fires on the other side there for um, Mount Lagoon and uh, it was going to save uh, going down Blackson's Ridge, Comoroy Road and Currajong Heights so it managed to save all those houses and all those properties down that side. This is the way that the state government can actually help businesses recover very quickly and we're able to turn that around with the local land services within 48 hours. So I want to share this with you.